Good day. My name is Ahmed Saad, and I would like just to share with you a on how to check which user has which responsibility. Okay, a bit more about myself. Uh, my name is Ahmed Jassad. I have 16 years of experience in working as an Oracle Apps DBA. I have done numerous implementations at financial services, mining, manufacturing, uh, and all different types of sectors. I uh, have been fortunate also to speak at the South African Oracle User Group, and I really enjoy being proactive. I'm currently working as an Oracle EBS contractor. Okay, and I believe that in our space, uh, we should make our jobs easier. We should enjoy working. We should be proactive and improve the quality of our work. So today's problem statement is uh, that security will always come to you and ask you which user has which responsibility. And uh, sometimes we find that our security team also give out responsibilities incorrectly. And unfortunately, the EBS DBA always gets asked this question and we have to always provide answers. So I thought that instead of us just waiting for these questions, let us be a bit proactive. Let us provide this information to IT security before they come and ask us these questions. Okay. So first of all, in your system, you need to find out all the different responsibilities and their responsibility IDs. Okay. So you run a simple select, select star from FND underscore responsibility. Okay. So if you can just run it, and I have run it in my test environment, sorry, in my test environment to simulate this demo. Okay, so as you can see, there's all the different responsibilities there, and there's the all the different IDs there, right? What I suggest you do is export this to Excel. Okay, export it to Excel, all right? Once you export it to Excel, provide this Excel document to your IT security team, all right? So they can see all the different responsibilities that we that we have on our EBS system and all the different responsibilities, IDs, and they can see when it was created, uh, when it was updated, you know, and the description as well, okay? So this, it's showing your proactiveness, all right? So once you have the responsibility ID, all right, you can then run the script, which I will provide, okay? Um, and there we go, there's the script over there. And you can see there, what I have chosen is, I have chosen ID 20. 420 and 20420 is sys administrator. And like I said, I only have simulated this environment for the training. And you can see there's the responsibility system uh, administrator, and it's all the usernames which has sys admin, right? So we can choose any other responsibility if we can take general ledger. And as you can see, all general ledger usernames that have the responsibility general ledger. Okay, and there's a sample of the output over there. And that's about it. So I just would like to say thank you for viewing the session. My motto is ch take challenges and issues and turn them into opportunities. If you have any questions or feedback, you are welcome to contact me on either my mobile number over there or my email address. Thank you very much and bye-bye.